be a weekend lover Yeah, I'ma be the best damn lover you got I wanna mess up your covers I don't wanna meet your mother Never ever ask me how I've been Remember why you have my number Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for my 2021 front porch makeover on a budget, of course, as always. I'm totally aware this is not an actual porch. This is some steps and this is a front flower bed, but it has been a lifelong dream of mine to have a beautiful front porch. Hopefully one day I'll have a house with a wraparound porch and just I'll be in all my glory. But unfortunately, it's just not in our budget to have a porch professionally built on here and it's not within my skill level to be able to build it myself so I'm just gonna do with what I have and still make it a space that I can love and enjoy and I wanted to encourage you that if you're in the same boat don't feel discouraged you can still create spaces in and around your home that are absolutely beautiful and that make you feel proud of your house Whenever I do these makeovers, I always prefer to start with a blank canvas, clear everything out of the space so that I can visualize what I want my final product to look like, and make a mental note of all of the steps that I need to take to get myself there. One small and affordable change that you can make that actually goes a long way in updating any space is to switch out your hardware, which we intended to do on this storm door. The old doorknob was just very worn, the finish was not cohesive with the front door, or the frame of the storm door and we wanted to switch it out with something in either a matte or satin black finish. However, this ended up being our first hiccup, not even 10 minutes into the project and we could not figure out how to get this doorknob off. So we had to do a little troubleshooting, resort to a plan B, which I will show you later. I've got some things out here to paint. So this outdoor side table actually used to be a teal color and last year, I painted it satin pebble, I think it's called, and I did not put a finishing coat on it. So you can see it rusted in quite a few spots and just got discolored from the weather conditions. So it needs a fresh coat of paint to look like brand new again. And this table, I think I'm going to paint the stone top the same color, but then the legs a black finish so that it'll kind of tie in the rest of the black accents throughout the space and then I just pulled these out of my shed we used them last year as well and you can see they're in pretty poor condition we got this little stool from either Goodwill or a yard sale for like 50 cents and I did nothing to it I just kind of set it out and set a pot on top of it last year and you can see it did not hold up to the weather so I'm gonna try painting this. These are the paints that I'm going to be using. I have this Krylon Color Max paint and primer for indoor and outdoor use in the color Satin Pebble. This is the color of that table that's already painted. And then I have some Rust-Oleum Flat Black spray paint. I have these left over from previous projects, so they were already in my shed. I didn't need to go out and buy any more. But I did pick up this Rust-Oleum Matte Clear Coat. It's supposed to protect and revitalize for wood, metal, plastic, and more. It says fast drying, non-yellowing, and UV resistant. So hopefully this will prevent against some of that discoloration and rust. It does say it's for indoor and outdoor use. So hopefully this will protect all of the things that I'm painting and leave them looking beautiful all season long. Before I could do any painting though, I needed to make sure all of the surfaces were clean, so I'm going to wipe them down with really hot soapy water. And then since I wanted this little side table to be two-toned, the best way for me to do that was to disassemble it and paint everything separately and then reassemble it later. I've actually had that little table for at least six years now. I found it on clearance at the end of a summer season at Kohl's, and I've just had it ever since. I've always arranged it somewhere 
way in my front porch or front step area. I no longer love the style of it, but it's in such good condition that I couldn't bring myself to declutter. So instead, I decided to give it a little update, which is actually a really good tip for any of you wanting to do a makeover in your space and working on a strict budget. Always look at what you have and see if you can update anything with a fresh coat of paint or wood stain before you look to buy anything new. I am going to be using this Krylon Color Max Satin Pebble to do a fresh coat of paint on this little side table that I had already updated last year, as well as that little wood stool. And then I'll go in with some matte black spray paint on the legs of that side table and that little jug and just give them a completely refreshed look so that I can enjoy another season with these pieces instead of going out and buying anything new. I had a couple of cans of Rust-Oleum brand flat black spray paint left over from previous projects that I had stored away in my shed. They were all half or a quarter of a way full, but the paint was still there and it was still good, so I was able to use it on these projects, which helped to save money in the long run, not having to go out and buy new paint. Same with that satin pebble. It was all left over in my shed and I did not need to purchase anything new. This is actually a great tip for if you are doing makeovers on a budget, always save your supplies, even if it's just a quarter can of spray paint left over because you never know when you're going to need to do a touch up, a little refresh, or use it for a future project. While the paint is drying, I need to do some cleaning. There's cobwebs and pollen and all sorts of dirt and dust all over the place. I need to wash all of the glass, the windows, everything. And then also the concrete down here on our steps and our little sidewalk here. And I was going to get out my pressure washer and make quick work of this. And then I went to hook it up and our spigot is broken. <laughs> There's a piece inside of there that has like cracked or broken or something. And so it won't pump water into the pressure washer. So I'm gonna have to do all of this by hand, which is gonna be a little more work than I had initially thought, but that's okay, I'll get it done, so. I don't really need new friends, so spend your time with me. Looking for someone who can play, though, wanna hang with me. I'm not really looking for a friend, so spend your time with me. Looking for someone not afraid of, give it all to me. Get next to me, get next to me. All that I want is to get next to me. Friends, so 
before I could scrub down the front steps or the sidewalk, I did want to get any big dirt and debris out of the way, so I swept everything with our push broom. This thing is really heavy duty. It's meant for like big projects like this, and it does a great job, but I'm not going to lie, this is tiresome work. It is a lot of manual labor to get this done and get it done properly, but it was totally worth it in the end. Once I had all of that big stuff out of the way, I did go in with some baking soda, vinegar, and water mixture to scrub down the porch. And because our spigot was broken, I could not hook up our hose to be able to wet anything, so I just got a little resourceful and used my two gallon watering can, wet the steps first, and then went in with my scrub brush and my cleaning mixture. And I was actually surprised to see how much dirt and stains came off just doing this. So I can only imagine how satisfying it would have been if I had a power washer or even a hose that I could have used. If you look closely, you can actually see it in the places that I'm scrubbing. You can see like rings of dirt just pouring over the sides and you can just watch it come clean which was really satisfying and a nice surprise to see that my little homemade mixture was working. I did this to the top of the steps and then the one down below and the side this entire little concrete area I scrubbed with this scrubbing brush and the baking soda and vinegar mixture and then I ended up running out of it so I couldn't use that for the sidewalk. I had no vinegar or baking soda left in the house and I was not about to go out to the store just to be able to hand scrub my sidewalk but I was glad that I took the time to do it on these front steps it made a huge difference and hopefully we'll be able to get that spigot fixed very soon so that I can either use a power washer or use a hose next time I'm doing this and it won't be quite so labor intensive and will give a little bit better results but I did want to show you guys when I'm all finished with this just the before before and after shot so that you could see for yourself all of the dirt and stains that were there and then see everything that I was able to scrub up and while it doesn't look like brand new it does look a lot better and I was really happy with those results. I do hope that by sharing this it will instill some confidence in some of you guys that you can do these little makeovers and home improvement projects no matter how strict your budget is or how limited your resources. It's definitely not looking brand new or as good as I could have done with the power washer, but it's looking a lot better. I was able to get most of that excess dirt and debris and most of the stains off of the stairs just by scrubbing with equal parts water and vinegar and some baking soda solution. I ran out of baking soda and vinegar though, so I wasn't able to get all of these stains down here, but it's okay, it'll just have to do. I just wanted to show you guys this though in case you feel like you can't do these makeovers because you have limited resources, limited assistance, a limited budget. It literally does not matter what you have available to you. You can always make it work somehow. You can always create a space and a home that you can love and be proud of. So I just wanted to share that encouragement and hopefully instill some confidence in you guys. Now I'm going to work on the sidewalk and I don't know, maybe down here. I thought that I was gonna be able to use the power washer because Derek found some extension hoses and extension cords, but as soon as we tried to turn it on, it shorted out. So our power washer is broke now. I'm not gonna scrub on my hands and knees, but I am going to wet the sidewalk down and use the push broom to try to get as much of that excess dirt and debris off as possible.
while Derek had that hose hooked up for me and I didn't need to use the watering can anymore, I did want to also scrub down the bench and the planters that we keep out in that front flower bed all year long. I actually keep these out for all seasons. We never store them away and I just replace the plants that we put in those planters according to the season and we've never had any issue with this. I'm actually a little bit surprised that that bench has not rusted at all and the planters haven't broken or started to mold. They came from Walmart a couple of years ago and the bench came from Kirkland's a couple of years ago and it is galvanized metal so I'm just surprised that it doesn't rust in the rain or anything but all of these pieces have held up really well which makes me very happy to be able to use them for another season. Day two and hopefully the last day of this DIY. Yesterday you saw us try to take off this doorknob or handle and we could not figure it out. This is supposed to be like something where you can push it in and that'll release it and it just didn't happen that way. So plan B, I'm going to paint this black and hope that it works out well. I went to the store last night, got some painter's tape and some black paint to start working on this. We also have these terracotta plant pots that I completely forgot to paint yesterday when I was spray painting everything else. So I'm gonna have to get that done before I can work on potting any of these new plant babies that we have and pulling this space together with the finishing touches. But I'm gonna get started with that doorknob and then we'll work on the rest of it. Before I work on the doorknob, I'm going to use this Valspar Season Flex exterior paint in tricorn black. It is a flat finish and this is the same paint that I used when I originally painted my front door and all of the shutters last season. I just got a new touch-up can so that I could do some touch-ups. Last year when I painted this, I got so many comments from people saying don't use a flat finish. It's not going to hold up well and you're going to hate it. And it did not hold up the best that is true when we painted inside there was some paint transfer of lighter colors and it does scratch pretty easily however I just love the look of the flat finish so much so it doesn't really bother me that I have to do a few touch-ups and if you notice I'm just doing small touch-ups I didn't have to completely repaint the door so I'd still call it a win but once I had all of that painted then I'm just going to tape off around this doorknob on the outside I am only going to to paint the outside first just to see how it turns out and then I'll decide if I want to do the inside. And I'm sure a ton of you who have watched my channel for a while are just floored right now that I actually used painter's tape, but I would not dare try to paint around this without using painter's tape, no matter how confident I am in my skills. This is just a tight space and I don't think anybody could get these lines perfect without using some kind of barrier to make sure that they're not going outside of the lines or getting paint on the glass. And I do have to admit that pulling it all off was very satisfying. <laughs> We got a few bags of mulch to refresh the flower beds. Last year we took out all of the red rock and replaced it with black mulch. And the bags say that it's supposed to keep its color for 12 to 24 months, but we knew that that was not going to happen. It did not stand up to the direct sunlight and it grayed pretty quickly. So we know that at the beginning of every year we're going to need to do a refresh like this and we're able to anticipate the cost. That's definitely a huge tip when doing DIY makeup always think about the long term and budget accordingly. But while Derek spreads that mulch, I'm going to use this Krylon Color Max spray paint in the color Satin Avocado and start spraying these terracotta pots. I had this vision in my head to have this beautiful muted green base and some black geometric design on the pots and I just thought that it would look so cool but I ended up scrapping that idea because I did not like the tone or the way that that color was spraying so instead I grabbed a couple more pots and my black paint and started brushing that on kind of randomly for some reason I thought this would work the same way as when you use a whitewash paint but spoiler alert it totally didn't it just ended up looking like a complete mess 
this and to be honest it was a little bit frustrating but I left these clips in because I want you guys to see that these projects don't always run smoothly. There are a ton of hiccups. There are a ton of times where I have a design in my head and then it just doesn't work out and I have to figure something else out and that just happens to everybody. So if you are trying to come up with a project or do a DIY in your home and you're running into a lot of issues, please don't be discouraged. Just troubleshoot and work through it because this really does happen to everyone. But while I had my black paint out, I did decide to refresh this planter that I thought that I was going to have to throw out. It was beautiful. It was like a natural rattan wood with this little black area and the black paint did not hold up in the elements which I should have anticipated but I did think I was going to have to throw it out and I was glad that I was able to put a fresh coat of paint on here and it ended up looking like brand new but it also inspired me to go back to those green pots that I had and I actually taped those off in a similar fashion and created a similar design. So my original idea did end up working out and that's just how these things go sometimes. You never know when you're going to be inspired or what will inspire you and that's why it's so important to just keep powering through and get to the finish line of these projects even when you have these hiccups and setbacks. But now that I have everything painted, I'm going to start potting all of my plants and herbs so that I can start pulling everything together. I leave the TV on, I'm done with your sad eyes. I can take another night with you on like this, so let's go. As you can see, we went a little outside of the box with the plants that we ended up using on our front porch this year. I know it's pretty standard to go with things like peonies and spring flowers, but we went in a different direction and actually used a ton of herbs and greenery to breathe some new life into this space. We picked out basil and rosemary because they smell amazing. We can use them while we are cooking and they're actually very resilient plants, so they're pretty easy to keep alive. We also chose yellow marigolds for pops of sunshine and brightness throughout the space and everything ended up complementing each other really well and we were happy with how it turned out. Again, I know it's a little outside of the box from other things that you might see here on YouTube or on Pinterest and Instagram and that's totally fine. You don't need to feel like you have to do everything that everyone else is doing or compare yourself to what everyone else is doing. If you have a vision for your space, even if it might not be the most popular, it's totally fine to just run with it and see how it turns out. The doorknob is dry and as you can see, I only painted this one side just to see how it would turn out. It's not the best. It's definitely not as good as if I were to have replaced this, but again, we couldn't get it to come unlatched, so that wasn't really an option for us. We'll see how it wears and if it does all right holding up to us like opening and closing the door bunch then I'll go ahead and paint the inside as well. If not then eventually we'll probably just replace this door anyway because it slams shut or it doesn't shut at all. There is no in between for it. But anyway that's dry. The steps are clean. We've got a fresh bed of mulch here on this 
little side garden so I am ready to finally start bringing everything over here and setting everything up. So before I could set anything up, I realized that we had forgotten to switch out the deadbolt and doorknob on our actual front door. I did paint the one on the storm door, but this completely slipped my mind. So Derek was nice enough to go ahead and switch it out for me. We just picked up a matte black set from Lowe's. I want to say that this was under $30. It was super affordable. It's definitely not the most fancy design, but either way, just switching out the color and finish did wonders for up updating the space and creating a more cohesive look. You don't always have to get the top tier. As long as you're making the change, it'll still make a huge difference in what you're trying to achieve. But once he was finished, I was able to start working on pulling this front porch space together. In and out of love, never get enough. We never seem to get older. Things are going right, you seem to have the time, but when it's hard you just grow cold up, we should be good but we keep lighting fires, the world should be cause we're scared of the silence, we should be good but we keep lighting fires, fires around ourselves, we should be good but we keep lighting fires, the world should be cause we're scared of the silence, we should be good but we keep lighting fires, fires around ourselves, it's deja vu. Set up a stage of lights Say we're done, say it's over Shouldn't be coming back But somehow we connect Acting drunk even though we're sober We should be good but we keep lighting fires The words you keep cause we're scared of the silence We should be good but we keep lighting fires Fires around ourselves We should be good Before I share the final reveal, I just wanted to remind you guys what this space looked like before, all of the pieces that had been left over from previous seasons and the lack of decor, things that needed to be updated and refreshed, and then I will show you what this space looks like now. And as you can see, it was a total transformation. We are so happy with how it turned out and it really feels like spring is here and summer is just around the corner. We achieved the aesthetic and vibe that we were going for and like I said, we're just really happy with how this space turned out. I hope that you all enjoyed going along on this process with me and that I was able to give you some confidence to do some DIYs or make over your own space and that I was able to share some ideas that you might not see everywhere that you could hopefully use in your own home. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future uploads, including cleaning, decluttering, decorating, DIY, and makeover videos. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me today, and I will see you in the next one.